Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Design. My name is Tyler, and today we are gonna be talking about the new Z1 Motorsports oil catch can kit. Before we get into the specifics of this particular kit, let's talk about what a catch can is, what it does, why you need it. Uh, so the main key word is blow-by. And engine blow-by is, uh, so you've got your piston in your cylinder, right? The piston goes up and down, and you have the explosion, and that moves the piston. Well, something has to seal that piston to the cylinder walls, and that is your piston rings, right? But that's not a perfect seal. They're made of metal. There's always a bit of a gap, right? And so blow-by is literally combustion gases blowing past the rings into the crankcase, which is where the oil system is. You know, think down in your oil pan where the crankshaft's rotating. Uh, up inside the valve cover counts as well. So that's what you're trying to do uh, eliminate is those gases have to go somewhere. They go down into the crankcase system and the OEM vents the crankcase back into the intake. So you have your PCV hose coming off of your valve cover, which is a part of the crankcase system, and it goes directly to your intake manifold on Nissan Infiniti vehicles. Uh, so all those gases, all those combustion gases, the oil vapor, anything that's floating around in the airspace inside of your engine is gonna get sucked back into the intake manifold. So these gases and the vapors going back into your engine, it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it really from a daily driving perspective. But the issue with it is that it can actually dirty up your cylinder charge, right? So you have fuel and air going into your engine, but if you're also adding in oil vapor and combustion vapor and you know unburnt fuel from your original charge, it can throw off your air fuel ratio and it can lead to less complete combustion. Another issue that's specific to direct injection engines in particular, like the VR30, uh, these oil vapors that are going into the engine through the intake manifold, normally on a port injection engine, you have fuel spraying on the back of the valves. However, in direct injection, that fuel is being sprayed directly into the combustion chamber and not on the back of the valves. So that oil vapor that's going from the crankcase into your intake manifold is just gonna sit on the back of those valves and it can cake up and you can end up with thick layers of carbon gunk sitting on the back of your valves and in the throats of the intake into the cylinder head. This is, can be a pretty big issue on some direct injection engines. Um, it can actually get to the point where your valve won't close all the way and you'll get incomplete combustion events. So it, it can be a very severe engine, a problem, and it can be solved just by adding a catch can in line. With that said, let's talk about the actual kit that I have here in front of me. This kit in particular is designed for the Q50, Q60 with the VR30 engine. Uh, we've got kits coming out for 350, 370, G35, G37. They're all going to come with uh, custom brackets like this one and custom silicone formed hoses like these. Various hardware, clamps, and they're also all going to come with a uh, Allen key here for draining. Uh, so with that said, let's take a look at this thing and uh, see how it works. Every can is going to come with two banjo bolts, so we're going to go ahead and take those off for right now. Uh, the can and the bracket are both labeled with uh, in and out. Uh, the inside is plumbed to the valve cover and the outside goes back to the intake manifold. So it's, the gases are coming in from the valve cover and going out to the manifold. The brackets all come like this. They've got three holes in them and uh, for the kits that are made specific for each car, you're not gonna need to adjust the brackets. However, the cans are made to have a universal bracket as well. There's holes all the way around, so you can clock this any way you want on some of the other brackets. This is what you're gonna get in the box. Uh, everything else will be packaged separately. This is the catch can itself, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up. So we've got this thing apart. Uh, there's an O-ring sitting right here, and uh, this is the catch can for where the oil is actually going to sit, the oil, fuel vapor, whatever else gets ca captured. Um, in the bottom of this, you have this conical shape and the gases are coming in here and they're being forced around this and down. So the first place they have to go is down into the can. And then they're going to make their way back up through these holes towards the out 
And what's cool about this is that we've integrated a stainless steel mesh screen uh, for the purpose of kind of filtering out and capturing uh, any larger particulates. Uh, it'll capture oil vapor, it'll capture some of the fuel vapor as well, um, which will keep that stuff out of your engine, which is the whole point, right? It's gonna catch all that stuff and send it back down into the can once it condenses. These catch cans are designed to be fully serviceable, so if you ever need to replace this stainless steel mesh screen or the O-ring, you can. Um, I don't really think you'll need to do that very often, if ever, but it's available if you need it. While we've got everything taken apart, let's talk about materials real quick. I mentioned this uh, mesh is made of stainless steel. There's really nothing that's ever gonna happen to this unless it gets bent or damaged or something like that. This is gonna last forever. The cans themselves are made of uh, 6061 aluminum, so it's lightweight, it's strong, it's durable, and the black anodizing looks fantastic. Uh, the brackets, same deal. Uh, it's a different alloy, it's uh, 5052 aluminum, but uh, again, black anodized, laser etched logos, gonna last forever. And finally, we have our uh, silicone hoses here. All of our silicone hoses uh, have this red lining in them for the catch cans. This is fluorosilicon line, so if you buy cheap silicone hoses off of eBay and you use them for oil or anything like that, the oil is going to seep through. It doesn't last very long. The fluorosilicon liner actually prevents that oil seepage and makes these last a lot longer. So now you've got the kit installed in your car and you're wondering what's next. Well, really not a whole lot. You just have to make sure that you drain it often enough so that it doesn't overflow. Uh, this is a fairly large capacity. You're probably not going to fill this up on most engines more than once every two or three oil changes. However, we recommend that you check this every 500 miles until you get an idea of how quickly it's gonna fill up. And then usually most people will drain it with every oil change. But the question is, is how do you drain it? We're gonna go take a look at another engine that we have uh, from our Q60 R&D car here uh, with the kit already installed on it. But basically these three screws just come out and you're just gonna stick your hand under this, let it drop, and then you should be able to dump this out and put it back together. That wraps up this episode of Behind the Design. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment with what products you'd like to see next. Until next time.